This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. Click the link in the description. JVOS is a new way of thinking of jujitsu. It's a conceptually based approach to teaching jujitsu. It's a new way of simplifying a very complex art. If you, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click the link and get your copy of JVOS today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today I have a video on how we got to where we are, building the master plan. How did we get to our current location? What experience I have had in my life that has led me to this point? So I want to cover the time period between 1997 and 2011. This is when I first started training jujitsu up until the end of my professional fighting career. I see this span as a an experimental period um, a period of building knowledge building technique uh, building an arsenal of functional um, attacks that are designed against uh, designed to be effective against the highest level of competitor in the world when i fought i fought at the highest level for the vast majority of my career against elite competitors and this is my um, how I learned jujitsu, but how I built the arsenal of techniques that I have built. So, of course, building the master plan, early history and lineage. In 1992, I started training uh, wrestling. And in 1992, uh, it was collegiate wrestling. It was high school wrestling. And then I started Focusing a little bit on freestyle wrestling in 1993. I just wanted to get more matches in between um, seasons. So we, everyone does freestyle. In 1997 is when things really started to get going for me. And that is when I started jujitsu with the Carlson Gracie team. Um, I started the Alio style in roughly about 2000. And five, right around that stop, right around that time frame. In 1998, very early on in my jujitsu training, I was a world champion for the King of the Cage organi organization as well as the Gladiator Challenger organization. Back in that time, that, that the King of the Cage was trying to be a rival competitor to the UFC, and I was their world champion. I received my black belt in 2003. It took me five and a half years to achieve this, which at the time was pretty fast. Even even to, by today's standards, that's that's pretty fast to get a black belt in five and a half years. Back in that time frame, it was taking between 10 and 15 years, 10 and 12 years to receive a black belt. Black belts were very, very hard to come by at that time. My professional experience, I had 25 professional fights, 25 years of elite competition experience. So I wanted to give you guys a quick background as to what my experience was. And during this time frame, I started to, again, collect the things that really, really worked in MMA and for MMA. I was trying to build a very specific kind of style that had a specific desired result. I didn't want to take damage. I wanted to get the fights done as quickly as possible. I didn't want to inflict unnecessary damage. I didn't want to get knocked out. I didn't want to get submitted. So... By, by, by having these goals, I was able to uh, adapt the techniques from the variety of trainers that I had over my career into my current iteration of what I am currently teaching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Click and like the video if you like my content. If you really like my content, go ahead and click the subscribe button or the notification bell, which really which will allow you to be alerted when new videos are released. As always, I will talk to you guys real soon.